Alright, so we're back with Valheim. 30 minutes at a time. This is Valheim. I'm Cody. This is Cody. I'm Valheim. Let's get a wall around our building. Alright, so I don't, I'm not rested at all, but I, I'm just building a wall, you know what I mean? I don't need any real fancy rest. Just building walls. Just keeping stuff out of our business. Any wood just sitting around here. Other things that had wood involved. Get across that water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use that tree. Why don't you? All right. You like that? All that wood coming around you? Because this is how we're going to keep the base a little bit more protected. Uh, a second ago I had a first raid of the entire game. Out of wood. Alright. Got a little more wood around here, but it's not going to be enough to get all the way around here. That's for sure. Let's just cut a little bit more down then. This wood just sitting around. Let's cut it. Cut that wood. Okay, let's cut this wood. This is going to be a lot of wood. Look at that. Oh, only I was rested. Then I could cut so much wood. Hello in the water. Let's cut. More garbage laying around. Well, now what are you doing? <coughs> Don't be silly. That wasn't even worth either one of our time. Kind of filling in all these gaps. I'm going to go as far as I can go over this side. Hopefully I can actually go right along this ridge. Let's see what we got. I think this needs to be here. A oh, high little raspberry. Alright, let's make sure we don't fall on the raspberries. Don't fall on the raspberries. Fall on the raspberries. Okay. There we go. I did not fall on the raspberries, said the tree. Okay. That would just be five more. Keep this one off the raspberries too. Then we can have ten more and get all the way around that ridge. Don't fall on the raspberries. The raspberries are behind me. Okay. Piece of fine wood sitting up there, it sure is. Alright, got a little more wood here. Okay, thank you for your contribution. Alright, let's just get these 
things on around here, at least to that side. So here we go from there. force in that area. So I'm trying to stay just the side of here. It's that mystical force. Huh. All right, well, it's kind of on the edge of it, I guess. And that's it for the wood. But let's see what else we can do. Let's see if we can do these. That doesn't hurt. Forces there, huh? Okay. Alright, well, that's something. So I guess they can get in, but they'd have to be around that weird side over there. Alright. Straight up the side of the wall here. It's a pretty good run. Very right inside of it. All right, I like that. Seems a little bit safer. Well, <laughs> let's go in and get some rest now. Man. Hello, base chimney. Get some rest for a second. Orient ourselves. Reorient ourselves. So yeah, the idea now is to I mean I guess just get a little bit more copper, get the buckler and the uh, sword up. Maybe make some fire arrows, but other than that, <clears throat> I don't see much else I need to do. As far as I know, all I need to make is a little bit of, uh, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Uh, copper, I think I've got plenty of tin, so let me go check on that. but it's also a summoning trophy. So our deer head. Put those closer just to kind of signify that. Seeds for trees, hides, which includes feathers. Get some repairs in. Just with the axe. Yep. And uh, the hammer and any other stuff over here. Yeah, as we get the cape up, that's not going to be very much. Um, and we could definitely get a little bit better arrows. Go ahead and leave this here. Lots of carrot seeds. We're doing so good with carrots pretty quickly here. Feel good over there. Yeah. So after our boating expedition, we've got the elder on our radar here. Uh, we will boat to this elder at some point just to see if we can find Mr. Moneybags over there or whatever. I don't know. What's going on with that? Could be north, could be anywhere. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get our sword and that up. Basically, with that copper over there. So let's check on that again. I know this is what I was thinking. 
All right, yeah. Oh, I got 3210. Plenty of tin. Decent amount of copper. No wood to speak of. Nice if I find a little bit more troll. Not that big of a deal if I don't. Yeah, seems like coppers. Copper and wood then. Okay. That's BF1. Let's go get to it. go jump on the top of this here copper and just start going at it. Okay, where are we at? I feel a little disoriented. Okay, there we go. Went the wrong way out the door there. There we go. Alright, yeah, so basically just starting here. Straight down the edge of this rock. And there's also that other copper still sitting all the way back at the other side. So after I get a load that I can run with, I'm just going to run over there. And then pick up that other one near that side. Yeah, why not? Rest, beep, beep, beep. Sunset in the distance there. Okay, get, get a couple more pieces here. And I guess what I'll do is I'll go up and uh, yeah, make a bucket near the cave thing here. I don't think I have one yet, but I do need one. Like it's pretty much night. Yeah, it's all I can carry. Alright, yeah, let's see. Do we have a bucket? We do not. Let's Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. <laughs> Is there still a troll in there? Those things that I left. All 
Alright. That's 20 copper. Oh, hi. See, I know, I know, I know. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting stuff up here and I'm putting it in my bucket and I'm going back home and getting my rest. Y'all. I'm going to come back, run the copper back, get some more copper up near the heart attack, and we're going to run the invader back, and then maybe I'll get my thing. It's kind of interesting. So there's a lot of strategies I can do from there. before I go to bed. I don't have to do it when I wake up, wasting time. I can carry that, both of those things. It might be useful right now, so let's see. So this stays here. Too far from the other one. I can run all this back. Now I can have ten bronze. Eleven bronze. Like forty ten. So if I had eighty copper, that'd kind of work out for math. And I suppose if I knocked down that entire area over there, I'd end up with eighty copper over here. And I'm not too far from each base to have to run it back. Let's just leave them here. And go get the ones from nearby. Good night. 12 minutes on that. Just right over here. What in the heck are all these little critters trying to mess with me for? Right. Just going at this copper, y'all. And uh, yeah, pretty much just gonna upgrade these things, go for the elder, get some fire, bows. So we're pretty much there. A 
longer than the meadows, a little longer than Nikthir, but that's just progression for you. That's pretty exciting. We're going to be taking this down soon, for sure. Won't be too long. And I think all I really need is about 20 bronze to get these all, like the sword and the buckler up to the next level. I think as I get iron, I get to get everything else kind of to the next level. I wonder also about when to go explore the Great North and the South here. Because it, it's the same, right? There's ice caves in the North. Certainly in the South. I think that's true. rocks here in my satchel. Kind of be running those back, back and forth. Sorry, taking a quick hand break here. Plenty of copper here underground. I'll come back to that stone. the thing so yeah I'm gonna wanna I guess get the cart I'm gonna run, run back to that warp and get the cart and come back as opposed to running all the way to the base below the copper and coming back after that my pickaxe here. I'm trying to skip doing any of the dirt. Need a little bit of everything. Okay. Almost done with my pickaxe. Yep, there it goes. All right, so that'd be that. Set off the copper over here. Oh. And got 42 copper there. Set the stone in. Should keep the stone there. Keep on me those there. Go get these stones that are left over here. <clears throat> Head back to the portal not far from me. Get the equipment for a cart. Bring that over. There we go. Low stone. Low stone. Okay, alright. Okay, just head this way to the portal. Yeah, I mean, that's 
pretty safe, that's the idea. Stone will get me the rest of the way later. I'm gonna need 20 wood. Stone. Okay. Back in big piles, back at the thing as well. Yep. Prepare some stuff. Prepare that. Yeah. Oh, no, no wood here. What do we got? I think we got some upstairs near the kitchen. Check it out. Yes. Seven. Uh, Go get the thing and run back. All right, perfect. So I think I got ick here and all that. <clears throat> and I'm just going to take the cart and get the amount of copper that I've got now back to my base. Hey, blueberries. Hello, bye bye. Honor there. Okay, another copper. A little tower. And the first copper mine. up. Yeah. Oh man, five minutes of ether and three minutes of rested. Let's just do it. I think this shouldn't take that much time anyway, and that's about as much time I've got in the episode. I'm just going to run it all the way back though. It might take a little bit more than 30 minutes. Let's find out. I think the next one we're upgrading the uh, sword and the buckler and that's it. We're going for that sucker. Get some uh, fire arrows. And here comes that slight amount of incline. Not very much. Looks like we got enough of the trees out of the way. We're making good time. Almost to the flats. That's a bumpy ride right there. Right. <clears throat> okay. And there we go. It's interesting when some of these parts sort of feel a little bit like Red Dead Redemption. Oh, just be in that game right now. 19th century United States. Oh, look, you can see the base. There it is. Alright, and 
minute on the game timer. 30 minute timer. Funny, looks like I'll be running right back up to the edge of the outside gate. And up right around that time at 30 minutes. Maybe. Might be just short of it because I'm just running out of steam. Oh, I think we're going to make it. Shortcut through here, huh? Alright, well, we'll stop there. Yeah, that's the part I haven't been to yet. Anyway, see you later.